What's up guys, Lambo here. Today we're going to be going over the Speedway triggers and I probably will be installing some more in the future, but these are the ones I have so far. That way you can activate the black flag, the yellow flag, start the race, and turn on all the lights on the track. So let's dive in here and I'll walk through each one of the triggers that I have installed. If you want to start the race, you can either stand underneath the on your marks area right there or go up in the announcer booth. Uh, the box is pretty big to activate it or you can go up in the announcer booth and I will show you right here on the screens where it says start race uh, the box ends right there and there's little small boxes around each one of those computers for you to activate other things such as the yellow flag the black flags or change the track type which we will get into here momentarily but first I want to show you how to actually start the race. So you walk up underneath it, you click it, and it starts a 10 second countdown timer. 10, 9, 8, and it'll tell you to go. 7, 6, 5, 4, Let's see. 3, on your marks. 2, ah, go. All right, next up, we are going to cover the yellow flags here. And I'm actually going to change that graphic because you totally can't see it because it whitewashed it out. But you just click it. And we're going to activate it. As you can see, all the yellows are actually going to be on the track flashing yellow. So everybody on the track is going to know it's a yellow flag at every corner, essentially. All right, now we're going to talk about the black flag. If you can see down there, the red light flashing. And we will go do some close-ups on the main billboard here. It'll actually show a red flag up on the banner and another one for the crowd to see. You can also run around the whole track and notice that everywhere on the track has these red lights as well. You would pop up the red flag when there's a nasty wreck and somebody's out of the game or somebody is doing something illegal and cheating and then you throw a black flag on them. All right, if you want to change the track type from uh, dirt to an asphalt, you just come up to this little computer right here and you press the button and all the textures change turn it into an asphalt back to a dirt there now we're going to run around on the track a little bit and show you what it looks like as an asphalt still dirty still awesome and easy to do if you want to turn on all the lights on the track so it's not so dark you are going to run to this little power box down here and flip the switch and this is going to activate all the lights on the track so now we'll go run around the track a little bit and show you what the track looks like all lit up at nighttime and the same process if you end up wanting to turn them off you literally just go hit the switch again and it'll shut them all off I recommend having them off during the day just so it decreases the amount of lag you got to deal with that's all the triggers that I have installed right now as per this update. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. You guys all have a good one and I'll see you in the next video.